Revelation 1076. From the 30th of August 1939. Paternal Inheritance. The Kingdom of God. Childhood of God. Do not forget that you are God's creatures and that is that, you have the right to take up the paternal inheritance, which is the eternal kingdom that the Father has prepared for you. But if you want to claim the rights of a child for yourselves, you must also identify yourselves as his children and thus testify that you are perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. But an unborn child will not be considered by the Father in the same way, because he does not confess to belong to God, but he has handed himself over to another power. He has consciously become the successor of him who brought deceit and fraud, falsehood and deceitfulness into the world, and so its inheritance will one day be its eternal darkness and ruin. But whoever proves himself worthy of the sonship to God, his lot will one day be glorious, for the Heavenly Father promises eternal bliss. He will send them home to the Father's house and grant them unimagined delights without limit, he will let them participate in his work and activity. And these glories are prepared for all his creatures, and he has compassion if one of his children forgets about this bliss, so that he shall lose it forever. And therefore he tries to wrest every soul from the adversary, but this soul does not recognize the infinite love of the Father. And it forgets the childship of God. Yet everything begotten through his love follows the same path. The same goal is before the being's eyes, the same strength is at its disposal, and the divine will guides every creature and shows it the right path. But where the will of man is stronger regarding resisting the divine, there the earthly being no longer feels the father's love, and the separation becomes more and more pronounced. The god of love sees the love of the earthly child growing cold, and thus the being distances itself from God instead of coming closer to him. It closes its eyes and ears to the whisperings of the beings wanting to help it, and thus the childship of God looks very poor with such a being, all glories of the world beyond can be presented to it, it does not respect them and most definitely rejects the survival of the soul after death for it does not recognize its origin, it does not recognize itself as a creature of God and will therefore never ever consciously strive for the childship of God, unless an extraordinary proof of divine activity makes it recognize its error. And for the sake of this, the Lord shakes the earth, for the sake of this, his mighty call resounds through all the world, and he wants to break the power of the adversary anew by giving people a weapon in their hands by which the adversary is to be put to flight. Only man's will has to decide in fullest freedom whether man recognizes himself as God's creature and therefore wants to take the way to him or whether he remains in weakness of spirit and wants to completely disregard the striving for the sonship to God. But he was given the intellect to recognize rightly and God always gives the means which should make recognition easy for man on earth. Amen.